it going guys? This is Frank again. So in this video, we're going to be talking about how to implement a email subscription form in your website using uh, Python Flask framework and Mailgun uh, email API. Yeah. So this is not like you're using a third party uh, forms like Google Forms and Mailchimp type form. Yeah. So this is actually, in this case, you actually have to handle the server logic by yourself, yeah. So in this case, we're gonna use Flask and uh, Mailgun API to do that. Uh, this is actually also from one of my YouTube viewers. So he commented that he has some problems with subscribing email addresses to his email mailing, uh, his, his Mailgun email mailing list, yeah. So. So I think this is because he hasn't verified any domain yet, yeah. So that's why he's only able to accept uh, the email address ha that he used to sign up for uh, Mailgun account, yeah. So in this case, if you want to be able to accept any uh, email addresses, then you have to verify a domain from uh, um, from Mailgun in the dashboard, yeah. So a very high-level overview where what we're going to be building today. So this is basically a very simple uh, email newsletter form. So when you type the email address and uh, you can sign up that user, yeah. So of course, right now nothing happens because we don't actually uh, we haven't actually set up the server uh, server backend yet, yeah. So okay. So with that being said, uh, without any further ado, let's just get started, yeah. So this is the code that I have <clears throat> that I've written. So let's just get rid of these and start from uh, scratch. Yeah. So, and like I said, we're gonna uh, use Flask and Mega API. So let me go ahead to install Flask. Pip install Flask. We also need a requests library. Yeah. So because we have to send the uh, HTTP POST requests to Mega uh, server. Yeah. So let's pip install Flask and requests. I actually already installed, so this is gonna be very quick. You have, if you haven't done so already, just go ahead and install. And we have to import. We have a bunch of uh, imports here, so I'm gonna say from Flask, import Flask, and I'm also gonna uh, import render template, and also the url4 and also maybe request object from flask yeah because we want to access the form data submitted by the user yeah but we don't know yet but we'll see and uh, we also need requests import requests then we have to <coughs> create a uh, flask app object then we're going to say app equals flask underscore underscore name underscore underscore uh, this kind of thing you yeah, actually will see a lot of tutorials that that has done that for you yeah so this is actually very very conventional to do so in flask so you instantiate a, a flask object here app equals flask underscore underscore name underscore underscore yeah okay now then we initialize a route let's say app equals route then this is the home page then we want to say index the function then we want to render the template, yeah. So I want to say return render template. Then we say index.html, yeah. So this is not supposed to be a very detailed Flask tutorial. So the idea is that we uh, the idea is that we we learn how to implement the the email form, yeah. So even you don't use Python or Flask, so the underlying principle is still the same, yeah. So you can implement this kind of thing using other programming languages or using other other uh, frameworks, yeah. So let me uh, show you guys the folder structure we have today. So this is basically the folder structure. We have the Python script and also the static and templates. This is just very like conventional stuff you have in, in Flask. Static is like for static files, JavaScript, and your CSL, CSS. And templates is like your HTML templates, yeah. So, so you don't have to look at these right now because the main part we're just gonna focus on the index.html file here, yeah. So let me go ahead and render this uh, template. So return render template index.html, yeah. Okay, good, perfect. Then let's run this. Oh yeah, sorry, I didn't I didn't actually run this. 
So I'm gonna say main app dot run debug equals to true right now. Yeah. So when you for now I just say debug equals true because I want to see uh, you know when we while we're coding so we want to see some live changes. Yeah. So that's why we say the debug equals to true. Yeah. So let me run this again. Okay, perfect. Let's go to the browser. Okay, perfect. You see this is working. Yeah. So we can type something and we can subscribe this user to our email addresses. You see method not allowed. This is because uh, anything you submit by our form is a is supposed to be handled by the HTTP request post method. Yeah. So let's go ahead and fix that. So here we're gonna say methods equals, then we list, then we say get and post, yeah. So the, the reason why we have two methods here, get and post, is because uh, you wanna actually, uh, you want a user to be able to see this page, yeah. So anything related to a client request, so you are supposed to have a get request, yeah. So, but also we wanna submit data in this form, yeah, in this page. Then we also need the post request, yeah. So that's just uh, just a little bit the expl explanation here. So let me refresh this again. So nothing will happen because uh, there is no functionality. Okay, now now let's uh, go ahead and create the uh, write a function to handle the user subscription uh, user submission here. So I'm gonna say def sub subscribe a uh, very I'm a very slow typer yeah subscribe user then just gonna take the three parameters here yeah so I'm gonna say email which is the user email and we also need the user group email yeah so this is like the mailing mailing list that you created from the Megan dashboard yeah so which is the step I'm gonna show you in the next two minutes yeah then we also need the uh, need your API key, yeah. So which is your Mailgun API key? So then I'm gonna say then I'm gonna I'm gonna use the request to send a post request, yeah. So I'm gonna say response equals request requests, sorry, post. Then the the Mailgun HTTP's API URL, yeah. So that is uh, API dot Mailgun. Dot net slash v3 slash the lists and here I'm gonna give a f string here because uh, I wanna because this is actually where you pass the user group email yeah so I'm gonna say user group email actually the user user group email and also the members yeah so you don't have to remember this this is just this is actually from the mailgun uh, documentation yeah so you can copy and uh, paste it here this is just gonna be a this is because it's gonna be a dynamic parameter so that's why I'm using f string here just don't get confused here so anytime you pass the parameter here so it's gonna be passed into this uh, string here yeah then we're gonna say off equals Parentheses. I'm gonna say API. So this is gonna be your API key. Yeah. Good. Then you want to say the email. Then want to say the data. Data equals subscribed equals to true. And then you need the email. Yeah. So which is the email the the email from the user yeah so email I think that's it yeah then I want to return the response okay good perfect so this is the the function that we're gonna use to uh, subscribe a user okay so let me go ahead and to go to the Megan dashboard so you see here I'm signing already so I'm gonna go ahead go to sending and mailing list so we're gonna create a new mailing list yeah so this can be any name you want but this has to be the case that you 
have actually already verified a domain. Yeah, so you will be able to subscribe any email addresses to this mailing list. Yes. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna just go ahead and say uh, newsletter at my verified domain. Yeah, which is bot bot dot .co. So name you just can just give whatever name you want. This doesn't really matter. What matters is alias address. Yeah. So because you wanna pass this into our function here. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Then just test and add mailing list. Okay, perfect. So what you want to do right now is, so let's go ahead and uh, handle the email subscription right now. Yeah. So I'm gonna go to the um, index.html file, which is where my sub submission form uh, is in. Yeah. So here is actually a very basic uh, a form that is set up here. So in this form, when the user, this is where the user types in their uh, email addresses and this is the submit button. Okay, in this case, I'm gonna um, allow the method to be post because this is by tradition, by convention. Any data submitted via forms should be handled by the post request, yeah. So method post and the, I wanna give a name here because we wanna use the we want to use a flask request object here to access the form data submitted by the user. Yeah. Okay. Then let's go ahead and say name equals email. Okay. That's it for now. Okay. Perfect. So let's go back to the our Python backend. So I want to say when a user submits something, they want to access the data. So I want to say if request. So remember, this request is from Flask. We we import it from Flask. Request dot method. So if the method is post, they want to act. That means the user submits something. So the users actually, for example, hit the uh, submit button here. Yeah. Okay. So if user submits something. if user submits the form. So then I wanna say email equals request dot form, yeah, because we wanna access the form data. So this is uh, handled by the form, yeah. Then I wanna get the email, yeah, because email is actually the, the name we define here, yeah. So any data you wanna access from the form, and in that HTML, you gotta have that attribute you gotta have the name attribute, otherwise you can't access it from here, yeah. So email equals request dot form dot get email, okay, perfect. Then we wanna run the subscription, uh, subscribe user function, yeah, so subscribe. Subscribe user email, email equals email, yeah, then the user group email. So you can grab this from your uh, mailgun dashboard, yeah. So if you copy this, or you can go back. Let's go back and copy this. Okay, perfect. And lastly, we'll need the uh, API key, yeah. So. API key equals my API key, yeah. So in this case, I'm just gonna copy from my dashboard, but afterwards I'm gonna just refresh the API keys, yeah. So you you guys won't be to you guys won't be able to use my API key, yeah. So this is just my uh, for security, but of course, uh, generally you wanna you wanna store this API key in uh, an environment variable or any other file, yeah. So you can import this value from uh, without a uh, so for safekeeping purposes here, yeah. So, oh, this is really, really slow. I don't know why the internet is so slow today. I don't know, I'm sorry guys. So let me, uh, let me pause the video here. And back now guys, and the problem was, yeah, my internet is better now. Uh, so the reason, that didn't work is because uh, 
I specified the wrong uh, key here. Yeah, so that was not it was not email. So email is not correct. So it's supposed to be address. And the so this is a the email user the user email that you want to subscribe to this mailing list. Yeah. Okay. So let's uh, go ahead and see if this works. So go back to the browser. Go to a new tab to our local addresses, local address. So now let's say I want to subscribe this user to our mailing list. Yeah. Okay. Sign up. Okay. Perfect. Nothing happens. And now you say no members. Uh, let's refresh. Oh my God! Please better. And okay. F perfect. You see. Then we have one member right now. Yeah. And uh, this is the user email email that's been subscribed. Yeah, okay, perfect. That's been signed up. Okay, perfect. Now let's go ahead and I sign up another user. And let's say sign up my email. To an in again. Okay, good. Let's go back and refresh. Okay. Perfect, you see, it's instant. So when you do this, right away it's in the uh, mailing list. Yeah, okay, perfect. Now let's uh, actually uh, doing one more thing because here right now when the user uh, sign up and nothing happens, so we just want to create a uh, short JavaScript alert so the user knows that they, they have actually signed in. Yeah, so let's go ahead and go to my editor here. So I'm gonna create a JavaScript file here. So I'm gonna say an alert.js and I'm gonna give a submit button a ID here. Yeah, so I'm gonna say ID equals submit. So so I can access this ID by uh, document dot get element by ID. Yeah, okay, perfect. Then I wanna I want to link the JavaScript file to my HTML. Yeah, so that's going to be URL for static, but to be the JavaScript file that we actually created. Yeah, so alert.js. Then we want to say const submit button equals document dot get element by ID. Yeah, so the ID was submit. Okay, perfect. Then I wanna I want this button to be listening to an event. Yeah, so I'm gonna say submit button dot add event listener and the event listener is click. Yeah, okay, good. Then we're gonna say alert. Thanks for subscribing. Good. Perfect, and let's say if this works. Okay, good. Mm. Okay, see, worked. Thanks for subscribing. Let's go to the console here. Oh yeah, this is actually the old console. Oh, document dot get element. Oh yeah, element not element get element by ID refresh again subscribing good let's subscribe okay perfect it worked okay now let's uh, sign up another user okay thanks for subscribing and everything is perfect Okay, perfect. So we have three users right now. Sorry, three subscribers right now. Yeah. Okay, one last thing here. So if you learn how to, if you want to learn how to send the newsletter to your subscribers, yeah. So this is a, a quick uh, code snippet that we, that I have written here. So you just have to send another request to the, out outbound email API from Mailgun, your API key, 
then you pass the mailing list group here yeah so for example in our case is newsletter newsletter at bot dot frank do dot code yeah okay perfect now let's send this uh send the mailing list send the send the newsletter to our uh subscrib subscribers yeah okay perfect Oh, we get a 401, so what's the reason? Robot, newsletter, and bots. Oh yeah, I didn't pass the API key, I'm sorry, yeah, so. And pass the API key here. Oh, this is taking very long as usual here. Let's run this again. Okay, perfect, 200. So let me go ahead, head over to my email inbox. Okay, good. So you see, the email has arrived, yeah. So this is like, uh, I don't know why it, it arrived, like, it's arrived like two times here. So as you see here, this is only showing the uh, newsletter email alias, yeah. So this is for secrets keeping. So when you send a newsletter to the crowd of a sub subscriber, yeah. So you don't have to worry about disclosing other subscribers' email addresses. So this is basically very cool, cool feature from uh, Mailgun, yeah, okay. And sorry guys, uh, that's it guys today, and uh, I think the, I hope this tutorial is useful for you, because it's been, it's been five months since my last uh, upload, yeah, so I'm actually getting a little bit rusty uh, for creating tutorials here, yeah, so, and so if you find this tutorial useful and subscribe to my channel and give me a big thumb up and send me any requests you have for the tutorials here. Yeah, okay.